How's it guys? Um, today we've got a uh, quick uh, rundown of the Q Acoustic um, uh, surround speakers that uh, is quite an old brand, uh, or model rather, um, but I quite like the design of it, so I thought I'll give you a quick rundown of what these speakers are like. It's not going to be a sound test, so if those of you want me to do a sound test, feel free to just drop me a comment and uh, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, um, I've got two of these um, surround rear speakers that normally come with a, a wall mount, but these have been these are missing the wall mount that normally sit on the side. Uh, but as you can see, uh, that's the model number and the rating for the uh, QAV rear speakers. They're rated at 25 to 75 watts, and these are uh, 6 ohm rated uh, speakers. And as you can see, you can see the design is quite nice for when you are sitting it up against a wall. Um, you can see the nice curve down, so you've got the, the reflective sound for your rear surround speakers. Um, solidly built, heavy speakers. These are one-way speakers, and uh, I'll show you what's inside it. So as you can see, there's no screws or pins holding the uh, grill. You have to just pry them open. I've opened up the pair, and you can see exactly what happens. Um, or what's on the inside. So essentially on the inside of the speakers, very well made grill, you've got the um, speaker on the side. So you can see it's the NFT flat panel speaker um, and I'll, I've will i got a few pictures of uh, one that I've opened up so you can see what the basket looks like. Um, you can see the connectors of the speakers on the, on the front and uh, what you would normally find in these speakers, it comes with that little cap that fits in there. You peel it over, and you can have the speakers connected. The speaker wire runs through the back hole, um, so it's a nice tidy system where you don't really see the, the, the wires coming through. You can mount this in the ceiling, on the wall, just for your rear surround. So that's the um, uh, Q uh, Acoustics AV rear speaker. Um, just to give you an idea of uh, the sound bar that used to come with these systems, I've got one sitting right there in front. As you can see, it's got a grill over it. What I like about this is that it actually comes on an extendable um, frame or, or bracket. Um, the speaker itself or the speaker cover itself is just attached by these clips and um, I don't really like the fact that it's attached with velcro because you know then you have some sagging, you have some gathering in the corners which doesn't give you a nice finish but what's good about these brackets is on the side if you have a look at that you can see the um, Allen key. If you have to open up the, uh, unloosen the Allen key, you can, well, sorry, where is that Allen key? Uh, there's an Allen key somewhere. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry, on the other side. So if you loosen up the Allen key, you can actually extend this frame a lot longer. So your soundbar can fit, you know, on a bespoke unit, the size of which you might have in your uh, living room. So this entire unit extends um, wider. As you can see the frame itself, you've got three of the same um, speakers mounted on a metal frame. I can have a look at the rating on that there, that comes into focus. You can see these are the QAV LR uh, or LC R50. They're rated 25 to 100 watts and are also 6 ohm. And you can see the bracket has the screw on um, uh, clamp that allows you to extend this left speaker all the way out to the end and thereby widening your or, or making the um, uh, sound bar wider or bringing it closer. And as you can see, if they're all tightly packed together, you'd have a, um, a single row of speakers. If you have a wider fireplace or sound set you want to build up, you just extend it. And similar situation with the wires, they feed into the bottom tied into a positive and negative and that's your allen key to loosen the bracket in order for it to move uh, out and in and uh, yeah that's it for the uh, speaker it's a very quick rundown as i came across these um feel free to leave any comments or any questions you might have um and i'll send also uh, i've got a few stills of uh, the driver itself on the inside after i've dismantled one of them uh thanks for watching